Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to my channel. Um, happy Sunday. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. Um, as you can see, my Capricorn, I have already um, pulled some cards for you guys and meditated over the cards so that I can make sure that I am giving you the correct and accurate message um, that you guys need to hear from spirit today um so let's just go ahead and jump right in with the messages that i have for you guys today okay so when i start pulling the cards the first message that i received capricorn um is divine animals okay so what spirit is telling you for today um Spend time today with your pets or go outside in nature and connect to the animals. Um, Spirit wants you to know that the love that you have within yourself and that you carry um, the animals in the universe carry the same amount of love. So it's important for you today um, to connect and spend time with your animals, you know, if you guys have animals, and if not, just to connect um, with nature. Go out in nature and connect with the animals, okay? The second card I pulled for you guys is Divine Masculine, okay? So, let me see here with this passage. So, you guys are dealing with your counterpart. Um, you guys are dealing with your counterpart. Let's see what this says. Okay. Divine Masculine. Everything has its purpose. You will not always understand what the purpose of something is. However, it is someone's creation and that is to be respected. If you don't like it, let it be the inspiration to create something more aligned with your soul's purpose. Consider all areas of life and reevaluate any part they may not be working. You can be your own father by respecting your ideas and providing a way for them to manifest. You are a master of your own making, so now is the time to recognize your inner strength and motivation and to be a leader of your thoughts and emotions instead of a follower. Stand your ground, regain your self-respect, Pick yourself up and dash, dust yourself off. This is not a time to force against or try to control external forces. This is a time for disciplining the way you focus and what you think about so you can create your dreams. So basically what Spirit is saying here, you guys, um, you are dealing with your counterpart, your divine masculine. Um, remember, there's no gender in tarot. So, um, we all have masculine and feminine um, energies in us, okay? So just take this as it resonates. This can flip-flop. So this can be your energy. It can be your person's energy. Um, just take it as it resonates, okay? Um, but you are dealing with your divine masculine. And um, at this point, you guys need to regain um, focus on what it is, you know, that this journey is about, what it is that you are supposed to be doing. What is your soul purpose? What makes your soul happy? What makes you happy? You know, you guys need to stop and take a step back and remember what this journey is all about, okay? The next card that I pull for you is distractions. Okay, so control your thoughts and actions to help you stay focused, okay? Watch what you're thinking and watch what you're doing, okay? You guys need to remain focused. Um, I know sometimes it's kind of easy to get off a of track, especially when we're upset or, you know, we want things to go our way and nothing seems to be going our way. And why isn't our person coming at? What am I doing wrong? Is it me? Like, what do I need to do? You guys just need to trust and believe that spirit is going to take care of this. But in the meantime, you know, you need to step back and do your healing. You know what I mean? And watch what you do and watch what you say watch how you treat people you know um you know be that light you know th that shines on you know your person and yourself and just take this time out to heal and love yourself you know okay learning new skills 
learning new skills. Okay. Education is the most powerful personal resources you can use to change your life and the world. Okay, so basically what Spirit is saying, you guys need to learn some new skills. Um, maybe you guys are going to school and studying. Maybe someone is learning tarot. Um, maybe astrology. Maybe someone is learning how to read um, crystal balls. Um, but whatever it is, Spirit wants you to work on some new skills. Um, you know, work on what can change your life and what you can do to change the world. In this time of healing, while you're waiting on your person, you know, if you're waiting on your person or whatever in between this time um, that you guys are not speaking to each other or... You know, you guys are taking time apart right now for whatever reason. Spirit wants you to take this time out to heal and work on your life and do what makes you happy and work towards your purpose, okay? So the next card that I pulled was Attitude. This is so funny to me. See how the dragon is kind of lightweight checking the little fairy about the attitude? That is so cute. Okay, so check your attitude, period. You know what I mean? Check your attitude. You know, y'all probably upset and mad and probably saying all type of stuff. You got to remember, you have to control your thoughts. You know, thinking things is just as bad as seeing things. You know, keep your thoughts. Check your attitude. Get it together. You know what I'm saying? Focus on yourself. You know, but Spirit is saying get that attitude in check. Okay? Hummingbird dreams. Okay? Hummingbird dreams. That is 30. Let's see here, you guys. Let's get the book and see. The smallest. Even those who seem the least to use, to, the least to us, have their dreams. The tiniest and the weakest have their place in the universe just as we do. They have a special job that only they can do. A place that only they can feel. There is no one being that is more important or more worthy than another, regardless of the regardless of the form in which they choose to express themselves in life. We marvel at the tiniest hummingbird. How can it move its wings so rapidly that it can hover in one spot and then fly off in a split second? What strength and agility it has. What divine form. It, it's hard to believe that something so tiny can bring so much beauty and wonder. If you are feeling small and insignificant, remember your uniqueness. The only shoes you have to fill are your own and they fit you just fine. There are no insignificant people, none who are less whole than another. Eliminate pre prejudice and judgments, whether cast upon yourself or another. If you feel that someone is not up to your standards, then realize that it is what you are projecting upon them. Change your perception and see them truly as they are, a reflection of God's energy, just as you are. Spirit expresses through all of us in its own way. It's not for us to second guess. If you are feeling less than whole, remember your divine birth and take comfort in knowing that you are divinely perfect. Pursue your dreams and know that you are divinely guided. Have faith in your dreams and your abilities. It's okay to have faith in other people's dreams. Help and encourage them to believe in themselves. Okay, so Spirit wants you guys to believe in yourself, okay? Believe in yourself and believe in your dreams. Anything that you put out and you set forth to do it and you put the effort into doing, then you guys can do it, okay? So never doubt yourself or never feel like you're not good enough for someone um, or maybe like what you're doing is not good enough because that's not the fact. Spirit is telling you that you are good enough. Okay, so it doesn't matter about what somebody else has going on or what they're doing or whatever. Okay, don't judge, don't compare yourself to other people. Everybody is special in their own way, and you just need to remember that. Okay, so when I went ahead and, and pulled some um, tarot 
Um, I got um, the Hangman, the Tempers card, the Three of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. So what I'm strongly feeling here that Spirit is saying is that um, right now, Capricorn, um, either you or your person is in this stuck energy, you know, trying to got, find some type of clarity um, on this situation, you know, and you were trying to balance things out, you know, with your person. You probably were waiting on them for a long time, or maybe your person was in and out um, and weren't for sure if they wanted to be with you, if they didn't want to be with you, or what it is that they wanted. And this person knows that you're waiting. This person knows that you are waiting for them, you know, but this person is is out, you know, looking at other options and doing whatever it is that they do, you know, planting their seeds elsewhere, everywhere except for where they are supposed to be, you know, and maybe you don't know or maybe this person hasn't told you um, that they're in a long-term commitment. Maybe this person is even married. You know, we have the emperor here next to the queen of pentacles, the world, and the king of cups. So what I'm strongly feeling here, Capricorn, is that your person is already in a committed relationship. You know, but from looking, you know, at these cards, I don't see anything that has to do with love though here. The only, the only thing that I'm seeing that has to do with love here is this king of cups. You know, everything else out here on the board has to do with money. You know, so maybe your person is in this long-term commitment shit, you know what I'm saying, with this Queen of Pentacles only for the money. You know, only for material gain. This person, that your person is, very, is, is involved very much with the material world. You know... That's 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 all that I'm seeing here. You know, maybe this person didn't know how to love you or doesn't know how to love you. Maybe everything that they've ever dealt with or everyone that they've ever dealt with in their life, everything has to do with money. I'm string, I'm seeing strong earth out here. So maybe you guys can be dealing with the earth sign. You know, um, but this person, the world has stepped in. The universe has stepped in with the world card. And your person is receiving karma because of everything that they have done to you. You know, not coming in and offering you this love like they knew that they should have. You know, because this person that they're with in this long-term commitment, shame, it's nothing but material gain. You know, and this caused you and your person to have a tower moment or a tower moment that's getting ready to happen because your person is facing their karma. You know, the universe has stepped in. Like, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you, you're not going to keep being in and out, you know, having this person wait for you in this stuck energy while you're out here planting seeds and looking at other options. And you know what I'm saying? You're not, look, he's not the emperor. He's not even looking. He's not even looking. He's not looking at you. He's not paying you any attention. Not, not alone, not giving you anything that you deserve and that you want, you know? So you're probably hurting and you're probably like, what's going on? Like... Um, am I good enough? You know, am I doing something wrong? Like, what is going on? Why won't my person come? Why am I still waiting for my person? You know, so maybe you talked to spirit and maybe you prayed about this and the universe is taking care of it for you. Spirit wants you to know that your person is receiving karma. You know, so at the bottom here, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Tower, the Magician in Reverse, and the King of Pentacles. So what I'm strongly feeling here is that the relationship, like I said, that your person was in Capricorn was nothing but about material gain. There was no love. There is no love. There's nothing there. It's all about money. You know, and we all know that a relationship based off of money is not going to last. You understand what I mean? So this calls it, there's a tower moment that's getting ready to happen. And I don't mean to laugh, but you know, karma is playing its best right now. You know, like I said, the universe stepped in. You know, we can't have this. You're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to treat her like that. You you just can't do it. It's not fair. This person probably lied to you. You know what I'm saying? And did all type of things, all type of in and out energy here, there, everywhere. And you're just sitting back waiting on your person like, are they ever going to come around? You know, are they ever going to see me for who it is that I really am? You know what I mean? And that caused you a lot of hurt and it caused you a lot of pain and it caused a tower moment. You know, the universe is, it has taken everything away from this person. You can't have anything. They've taken it away from this person. That's why the magician is in reverse. You know, and 
what I'm strongly feeling here because I asked spirit. I said, spirit, what is this tower moment? You know, what happened or what's going to happen? And then we have the father of earth, the high priestess, the daughter of earth and game. So what spirit is strongly saying here, my loves, is that a tower moment is, is happening in your person's life. Their karma is what they did to you is being done to them. So these other options that they had, there's going to be a tower moment where this person is going to realize that these people, these other options that are in their life were only to see what they can gain from your person. Because like I said, there's no love out here. These people only want to see what they can gain from their from your person. They don't they didn't love your person. Karma, what goes around comes around. How he did you was being done to him. So he's reaping what he's sowing right now. The universe is taking care of this. You know, do unto others as you have others do unto you. It's not cool. You know, so you don't need to worry about it because the universe has stepped in and they're taking control of this situation. You know, this tower more. He's yeah, he's gonna find out that all these other options that you were checking out while you just had me sitting over here waiting on you in and out in this stuck ass fucking energy, like, come on now, are you serious? The universe sees everything. So they got your back. They definitely got you. Your person's getting their karma. And everything is getting ready to change. Everything is getting ready to change with this situation. Okay? A win-win outcome in the forecast. You're winning, honey. You might not even think that you're winning, but you're definitely winning because the universe is going to make sure that you win at all, at all, at all co costs necessary. Your person is broke out here. Your person is messed up. That's part of their karma. You want to just material? That's all you care about? You don't know how to love? You don't know when somebody really loves you or care about you? All you want to do is run around with all of these options? Well, since that's what you want to do, we're just going to give it to you like this. We're going to stop you in your tracks. We're going to take everything from you. These women are going to take everything from you. We're going to leave you with nothing. So you're going to have to sit down. You're going to have to kill. And you're going to have to sit back and realize what it is that they did to you. They don't have a choice at this time. They don't, okay? Adjustments are required. So this person is going to have to make some adjustments in their life. You know, um, th this person probably is in the verge of getting a divorce or maybe already has gotten a divorce or maybe that's part of their, this karma, you know, it's going to be a divorce. Something is going to happen and that, that the universe is stepping in and shaking this situation up a little bit here so that your person can come back in and come correct, Okay. Trusting tricksters. What's the next card I got? Okay. The trickster's only power is your trust. You are always free to withdraw from it. The trickster's only power is your trust. So they know that you trust them. They know that you want to be with them. And they use that to hold power over you. But like I said, spirit like, no, no, no. You're not allowed to keep doing that. We're going to come in here and shake some stuff up and change some stuff around here since you just don't seem to get it yet. You know, you trusted this person. And this person did you dirty. They did you wrong. Okay? And I put two love messages. You guys see that? Two love messages. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. And last but not least, twin flames. So if you were wondering, Capricorn, this person is your twin. Enough said. This person is your twin. That's why they do all of this stuff to you. We all know that these twin flame journeys are like the hardest relationship to even get through. My goodness. It's so hard. It's just like... I, it's like you never know what's going to happen next. But you guys have to pour your energy back and heal from this situation. You know, I know that these things hurt. And, you know, maybe you guys didn't know a lot of what was going on behind your back. But, you know, now you do. You know, now you know. And now you know that this is your twin flame also. So if you're feeling like, why do I keep waiting? Why do I keep letting this person do this to me? Why am I still here? Anybody else would have been out the door. Like, why? Why am I still waiting on this person? This person hurt me so 
much. You know, this person's a trickster. This person is, you know, doesn't care anything about me, has no love for me. But in all reality, this person has love for you, King of Cups. This person does. This person has a lot of love for you, but this person doesn't know how to express it to you. They don't know how. Maybe they never have. But spirit is helping them, and spirit is going to help them, and spirit is going to help this connection. The universe is watching over this connection. So while you're healing, and you're working on your purpose, and you're learning new skills, and you're connecting with the universe, and you're letting go of distractions so that you can focus on yourself, and you'll find when you do that, you give this person time to heal. When you're healing and you're working on yourself, that's what pulls your other half in. That's that what pulls your soul in. When you start working on your soul's purpose and loving yourself, that helps your person to do the same thing. Okay? So you guys just remember that and don't lose faith. Everything is going to work out for the best. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Just remember that, okay, you guys? All right, you guys, thank you. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know if any of this resonated for you. Do me a favor, you guys. It doesn't cost anything to give me a big fat thumbs up, you know, like the video, subscribe to, the, um, to my channel. I just started my YouTube channel, so I am trying to grow my channel so that my messages do get out to the people that um, need to hear these messages, you know what I mean? Because that's what I'm here for, to help us along our journey, help you guys along your journey, and also myself, you know? So you guys, do me a favor, help the cha um, the, my channel grow, you know? Thumbs up, subscribe, so every time I upload a video, which I will be doing daily, you guys will get notified, and know there might be possibly a message in there for you. Okay, you guys, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye, my loves.